from Flushing, Queens, baseball from the home of the Mets, City Field. It's the first game in the month of July between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Mets. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. Steve Matson gets the ball for the Mets in this one. EK, what's the word on him? Well, Matty, he's looking to knock down that ERA. You see there, he's into the fours, looking to have a little better start than what he's been accustomed to. Emilio Bonifacio makes his way to the plate, and we are ready for Leading some daytime again, baseball. Shortstop, number 64. And we are underway this afternoon as the first pitch is over for a called strike one. These Mets, EK, as they take the field here today, Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. Yeah, they're in a stretch right now where it seems like all the breaks are really going their way. The only trouble with that is things tend to even out over time, so we'll see how long they can keep riding this hot streak. And this is what you want when you're facing a young starter. Get him in the stretch right away. Make him uncomfortable out there. He's in trouble already after a leadoff single. Junior Lake will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Well, it seems like it's going from bad to worse. He had a bad day yesterday, and he's hitting under 200 in his last 10. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah, Matt, Clyde has a bit of a reputation for rewarding pitchers that pound the bottom of the zone. Calls the game well, but we might see some strike calls below the zone that hitters aren't going to be too happy with. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. One, ball. one and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. The one and two pitch. Hot shot down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. With that, a look at the Cubbies starting lineup. Steve, what do they have to do to take down a very hot team here on the road? Well, you know, guys, I think this one could be a slugfest. If you get to the starter early and you continue to beat up on that bullpen, goodness, you could score a ton of runs. Chris Bryant will stand in, and with numbers like that, he's putting himself in contention for some Rookie of the Year hardware if he can keep it up. He's set. Here it comes. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. That's a major league curveball there. Well, let's take a while to get used to, believe me. There goes Bonifacio. Pitch inside. The throw is not in time as it was up the ladder a bit, and that'll move a man into scoring position now with one away. And later in the game, maybe you question this decision to run because you worry about taking the bat out of the hands of one of your best hitters. But here in a scoreless game, I doubt they're going to put him on. So that was a good job to take what's given to you. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. One out and a runner on second base. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. And with a quick breather here, let's take a look at the defense for the New York Mets. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, Matty, if there's a ball hit out to center field in this one, and I'm the third base coach, 
I am not going to send him. He has a cannon out there in center field. Everybody knows it. We'll see if he gets a chance to show it off in this one. Number 13 steps in looking to get it going offensively. Things have not been going his way of late. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's taken for strike one. Well, this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities, but they could never really cash them in. So you can bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. Boy, that's another pitch right down the middle, though. So he's gotten away with it so far, but I think he's given him a little bit too much to hit here. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for the Cubs. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Travis Wood, out of the state of Arkansas, is on the hill here. What do you have for us on him, Ike? Well, Matty, when he seems to get in trouble, that's when he bears down. He's actually got a lower batting average against with runners in scoring position. That tells you a lot about what type of competitor he is. Alonzo Cochran comes to the plate to lead things off Leading here in the bottom the half of the first. The shortstop, Alonzo Cochran. And he lays off there, 1-0. E.K., one of your old ball clubs, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon. They come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, they still find themselves stuck in third place in the division, but this is an important stretch for these guys, and if they can string a few victories together, they've got a chance to get back into it. Not quite reaching 90 with the fastball, but it's 1-1 one and one now. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. To two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes. Woods ready. We'll try to put him away here on two and two. Ground ball right side. Fontaine takes it in. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. Eric, who should we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Jonas Cespedes, can keep it going. He's been a menace to opposing pitchers lately. He's hit four home runs in the last ten ball games. He's shown that he's a serious power threat, so they better be careful not to leave any mistakes out over the plate. Into the windup and the pitch. Push to the right side. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Throw gets him two down. With a moment now, let's take a look at the Cubs' alignment on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what do you got? Well, Matty, Anthony Rizzo is really the centerpiece for this Cubs ball club. Offensively, we know what he does. But defensively, he really holds this infield together. Very fluid over at first base. Good soft hands. And has a good throwing arm as well. Bryant Tyner will stand in now. Certainly a dangerous hitter as he ranks number two in the National League in home runs. And he also leads the league in slugging. So he's picking up a lot of extra base hits to go along with those home runs.
chop foul at the plate. Strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Takes this the other way to right. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We're off to the second scoreless on the show. Anthony Rizzo will get his first shot down, and he's seen that average climb a bit here recently thanks to what he's done over the course of these last five ball games. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. He's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. Got him out on his front foot. No offer at that one, and the count moves to two and two now on the Cub first baseman. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that changeup away? Tap foul at home plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Chop foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Into the windup ready with the payoff pitch. Hit hard up the middle and a base hit. So the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Well, that hit extends his streak to lucky number 13 now. That's almost two full weeks where he's been swinging it. James Sanderson will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. Well, kind of more of the same for him, guys. I mean, you can see that he's not sporting the strongest batting average this year. Into the seats, 0-1. Nobody out, runner on first. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. As you can see right here, his timing just Adding seems seven. to be off a little bit at the seven plate right now. And you know what? That can happen during the course of the season. You're not always going to have your good swing. And he's the kind of guy that's got a lot of moving parts in that swing. So maybe he's at the point now in the season where he might need just a little time off so he can get back to the basics. Stepping in now, Justin Ruggiano, as he oh. will look at a first pitch one fastball ball. for okay. ball one. He'll check in with an average still south of 230. Four home runs and 16 RBIs. That evens it up one and one. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now. No score here as we play inning number two. 
and this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning well so much for being thrown out of rhythm by that leadoff single doesn't seem Second to have affected baseman. him one bit. Come back Bond with the two Zane. straight strikeouts, and now he's turned things around in this inning. Terrence Fontaine will get his first opportunity here, and that average is certainly not where he wants it, down in the 220s to begin the ball game. Well, he's been scuffling through this year, but over the last 10 games he's been good, hitting over 350. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. One. one of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And a good curveball there, but he wouldn't bite. It's one and two. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Tyner over to his left, and the inning is over. Cubs strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Yoenis Cespedes. Steps in, hoping to get things going at the plate. You can see it's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Wood gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Two one strike, count. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. That ball was so deep in his kitchen, that was the only thing he could do was foul it off, break his bat, and hope to get a better pitch on the next one. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And that's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone, all that can do is tie you up. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Now oh, he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. A quick out number one. Well, this will wind up nothing more than a pop out in the scorebook. But what won't go unnoticed in that dugout is that he battled for an awfully long time there. That takes a lot of energy out of a guy when he's got to throw that many pitches. Robert Vinson will stand in now, and this matchup would appear to be in his favor. As you can see, he's torched left-handed pitching so far this year. First pitch of the at-bat. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh, and that looked like the very definition of flailing there. It's even at one. Oh, this is exactly where you want that change up to be. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. No chance. 
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind 1 and 2. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Just like the guy he faced before this, another long at bat here. He's had to make 13 pitches just to these last two hitters. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. He gets another easy pop-up there, and this is just turning into a walk in the park. It's been a pretty stress-free outing for him so far. Mark Piazza will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. First pitch on its way. Too high, 1-0. Scorch to third. Bryant comes up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We've played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Some fans still trickling into the ballpark as we get you set for the top of inning number three. Travis Wood set to lead off the third. Nine, one, and two do up. Well, you know, it's always a tough inning when your pitcher leads off for you because most of the time the guys just flat out can't hit. But who knows? Maybe he can get something started here and help himself out. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's swung on and missed for strike one. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, he's had a lot of guys swinging at pitches out of the strike zone early on, so it's a great idea to go ahead and bounce one there on 0 and 2. And that's going to be high two and two now. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches. But now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the pitch on two and two. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Well, it's always nice to get the inning started against the pitcher. And he sets him down easily for the first out of the third. Emilio Bonifacio will dig in here. He singled to open up the ball game. Well, he hit the fastball, so we're going to see right here if they still come at him with the hard stuff. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Third inning, no score to this point. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is after it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting, left fielder, Junior Lake. Riding into the box, Junior Lake. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Right. And he'll Ooh. power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Oh, 
Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Line toward the alley in left center. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. Well, this guy's been absolutely wearing it lately. He's averaged down into the 220, so if there was ever a guy that needed to put together a four hit ball game, <laughs> this is the guy. Got that first one out of the way. Chris Bryant will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. Swing and a little blooper to center. And Ligares will look this one in, and that ends the inning. The former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. Home half of the third coming up, no score. David Wright will come forward to begin the inning. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. And they're still searching for a base runner. It's been six up, six down to start the game. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0-1. Think you'll see another one of those before this at-bat's through? <laughs> After that swing? I think you can just about take that to the bank. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's 1-1 one one now. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Living a little dangerously here. Yeah, you don't have to go looking for trouble. The trouble will find you if you're putting pitches there. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Wright is retired, and there's one away. Yeah, a nice job behind the plate. He wants it low, so he's got a good idea that this ball might be in the dirt, so he's able to smother it and then make the strong throw to first. Here's Juan Ligares. As he'll swing here and lift the fly ball out to right center. Sanderson moves over and he makes the catch for the second out. One out away now from three full Pitcher. scoreless innings and Steve both pitchers are working Manson. both inside, outside, up and down. Looking solid here to start this ball game. Steve Matson will stand in now with two away trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one and it's strike one. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Well, give him some credit. With two outs, a lot of pitchers will just leave that bat on their shoulder, but 
He's at least taking some hacks and making the pitcher work. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Wood into the windup. One two on its way. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Number 13 will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Catcher, number 13. First offering on its way. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Gotta like the approach right here. He's basically saying, if you're going to beat me, you're going to have to take it to left field because I don't think he's going to give this guy anything he can pull. Hit on the ground is short. Cochran is there. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Well, with two strikes, you've got to protect up there. Even on a curveball, that's a borderline strike. But he can only manage to get this one off the end of his bat, and it winds up being a simple little ground out. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Some would say he's showing good patience here, waiting for his pitch. But as a number five hitter, I think you need to make something happen. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Lays oh. off that time, and it's one, one and two. That is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Well, right now he is just carving them up, dare I say, like a Thanksgiving James turkey. That's Sanderson. seven strikeouts already. And he's made it look easy so far. James Sanderson is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting. And you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. And a high strike there, 0-1. This guy has been amazing. He's thrown a first pitch strike to around 80% of the batters he faced. And we're in the middle innings now, so you know he's doing well. Curveball there. This one touching 77 miles an hour, two strikes. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. Too high. One and two. One ball. And now two on strike. one and two, this might be a spot where that high fastball was just a setup so that he could come back with that big curve. Ball. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. He's hoping to just run that heater by him. So he's ramped up the velocity here the last two pitches. Now a ball rolls softly to second. To his right, Reyes. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. To the bottom of inning number four we go. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Alonzo.
Cochran will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. Wood has his target. First pitch on its way. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count, 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Hit sharply on the ground. And reined in one away. Now batting. Second baseman. Jose Reyes. Into the box now. Jose Reyes. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball. 1 and 0. Oh. To short. Backhanded. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Man, and not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Bryant Tyner digs in with his team still looking at a zero in the hit column. Yeah, they just haven't been able to figure it out yet, but it's still early. We're seeing some pretty good pitching so far in this game. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. Hot shot to third. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Trying to change the eye level there. After the fastball up, they come right back with an off-speed pitch at the knees. But he stays right on it, drives it for a base hit. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag. And the runner will get back standing. Keeping him close. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and But now you got to regroup after the two-out single. You're in a dangerous spot in the lineup, so the inning's not over yet. Not by a long shot. 1-0 and pitch on the way. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And that's going to land foul. No runs, just one hit. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. But the runner's back easily. Keeping an eye on him. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Oh, not fooled one bit by the changeup as he smokes this one to deep left field. That one will not be coming back. A home run. It's a two-run shot here for Ioannis Cespedes. Number 25 for him on the year as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Pitcher's got to be thinking, how can I throw a pitch like that in this situation? 
That thing was so right down the middle, it absolutely got hammered, and he knew it as soon as he let go of it. Into the box now, Robert Vinson. Robert Vinson. As he swings and hits this one, fouled off to the right and out of play. Here comes the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. And now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone. Maybe even in the dirt. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and missed. And that's the final out of the inning. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. We played four. It's now 2-0 New York. Justin Ruggiano heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love Justin to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit high and deep out to left. Cespit is going back. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. You know, now that we've made it to just about the midway point of the season, this is where you start to see a little bit of separation between the haves and the have-nots. And I think we can pretty safely say that these guys are in it for the long haul. Into the box, Terrence Fontaine. He flew out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. And you would think that this heat would start affecting him sooner or later, but it hasn't so far. If anything, he's getting stronger as the day goes on. Called strike 0-2. Oh, and, and you know, you get stuck sometimes being that number eight hitter trying to work the count and trying to buy a little extra time for your pitcher. Now, that's a pitch right down the middle that maybe a number four hitter jumps all over. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Well, you know, when you're behind an account like this, it's all about changing your approach at the plate. you got to shorten up a little bit and just look to put the ball in play. No runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Hard oh, sinker misses two and two. And again, they try to take him down in the strike zone just to see if he'll go after that pitch below the knees. But with two strikes, he's been able to lay off that thing now twice in a row. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. Yeah, he hasn't made too many mistakes on the mound so far, but hitting a guy here with two strikes is definitely not something he was trying to do. The pitcher, Travis Wood, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. Textbook sack situation here, guys. And he comes after the next guy as well. Can't say I like what I'm seeing here. It's ball one. Well, don't expect him to forget throwing inside. Even after the hit by pitch, he just won't start giving in to guys out there. And he pulls back the bunt attempt, 2-0. and oh. Well, you know, sometimes it's that natural tendency to let up just a little bit when you're facing the opposing pitcher. You know he's not going to do much damage. But you got to get refocused here because you do not want to go 3-0 and to him. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. Throw to second, and they get him. So the sacrifice attempt is unsuccessful here. 
Yeah, you want to put this down to the right side, force that first baseman to field it, but that ball is bunted just way too hard. So that's a good decision defensively to go ahead and take the force at second. Here's Emilio Bonifacio now, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Two out with the man at first. Hey. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. Yeah, one pitch away now from getting through five shutout innings. And I'll tell you what, the way he's throwing, this could turn out to be a night off for the bullpen. O2 is a fastball that misses inside. One and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left for the Cubs. They trail it here, two to nothing. Mark Piazza will open the inning here for the Mets with David the Wright following on deck. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. And here's one that misses to the leadoff man in the inning. The number six hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at one and one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Down low, two balls and a strike. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Two and two count. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. It's sharply toward third. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. And now you just start to wonder, how much is the heat taken out of this guy? You see the pitch count. It's not all that bad just yet, but he's been in and out of trouble a few times already. So he's definitely had some max effort innings. David Wright comes to the plate looking to put the ball in play. He went down on strikes last time. Well, and it was a good changeup that got him last time, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them try to work that off-speed stuff right back into their game plan here. A ball hit hard to the left side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And these guys would like nothing more than to add on to their two-run lead. Back-to-back -back hits have them in business to do just that. Juan Ligares will stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning. And on the mound, he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far, so this might be his first real test of the ball game. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And he oh. takes ball one. That's just another cut fastball trying to work that thing back to the outside corner. But he's not getting that call right now, nor is he getting guys to chase it. <laughs> 
swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Swing and a soft liner, but this is hauled in by the second baseman. And you know, you're going to see this a lot with a guy who has a great fastball like he does. This one's on the inner half of the plate, and it's so easy for that bat to just sort of drag through the zone. It's hard to catch up with that thing. And you see right here, he's going to make contact right below the label. And this is just going to turn into an easy soft liner. Standing in now, Steve Matson as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. That's by him for strike one. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Runners are at first and second with one away. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's in a situation now where he does not want this game to get away from him. Two guys on already. Now he's not in the strike zone to this hitter. He's got to reel it back in. If you're flirting with a little bit of danger now with another ball. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Ruggiano has a beat on it. Two gone. The batter number six, shortstop, Alonzo Cochran. Alonzo Cochran digs in, and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in the fifth. Yeah, a couple of ducks on the pond out there looking to make that trip home. This is a big two-out A-B right here, guys. Wood sets. First pitch on the way. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the inning. Two left for the Mets. They're up two to nothing. Junior Lake will get settled in here as the Cubs look to get it going in their half of the sixth. And right Junior here is an important time Lake. for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. And this ball sits sharply toward the first base coaching box. It's a foul ball. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. Chris Bryant will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. You know, he's pitched a really nice ball game to this point, but this is a big moment for him. You know, getting through the heart of this order at this stage of his outing would be huge. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. And Line drive to left. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. 
Now batting, number 13. Number 13 will step in. He's 0 for 2 to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Hits are now even at four apiece. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. That's popped up now towards short right field. Reyes onto the grass. And that's the second out of the inning. And into his sixth inning of work now. Let's take a look at the breakdown for him. Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo will step in now, representing the potential tying run. And keep in mind, he is the team leader in home runs, so. If anyone's got a shot of getting one out of here, it's him. Here comes the first pitch. Oh. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Well, that's such a good pitch to get ahead. Lefty on lefty. It's a big looping curveball. Makes it very difficult for the hitter to try and time what's coming next. Runners off for second. And it's quickly 0-2. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance. And the inning is over. Cubs strand one. They trail things here 2 to nothing. Jose Reyes. Gets things started here in the Leading sixth the for match. the hometown team. Second baseman. Pitch on the way. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing and two now. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Way outside. One and two. Hard the opposite way. And Reyes is aboard with a leadoff single. Now batting. And here's that pitch sequence one more time. Gets ahead right out of the gate on the first pitch. Then a swing and a miss. Puts him in the quick 0-2 hole. Fouls off pitch number three. Then a pitch that he couldn't quite get him to go for. Fifth pitch gets absolutely whacked for a solid base hit. Into the box, Bryant Tyner as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Reyes the runner at first with nobody out. Oh, he pulls the string on the circle change. One and two.
drilled right back up the middle. And that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit. Yeah, really not a bad pitch when you look at it. This is at the knees with some movement. He just uses the center of the diamond and checks in here with a base hit. Here comes the Chicago skipper now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that's going to do it now for Travis Wood. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Carlos Villanueva will take over on the mound now here in the sixth inning. Number 33, Carlos Villanueva. Yoannis Cespedes will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. And now the Cubs bullpen will start working here as both a lefty and a righty are up. From the stretch. Now the double steal is on here. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. And now this is going to turn into a triple play, and that will end the inning. Wow! So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and none left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Mets, two, and the Cubs, nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Addison Reed is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Addison Reed. James Sanderson will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Yeah, good thing we don't get paid by the hour, man. This game has flown by. Chop foul right at home plate. It's strike one. Reed sets. Here's the 0-1. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2.
Hit hard back up the middle. And that is Byam on into center field. So good hitting on 0-2. Nets him a leadoff single. And this is really one of the few balls he's hit solidly all afternoon. So now we'll see if maybe they can get something going here. Justin Ruggiano will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. He's set and the pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Oh and one here it comes. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. One thing we can say about this game, neither team's been afraid to swing the bat. I mean, here we are this late into the ball game, and we still haven't seen our first walk. Terrence Fontaine will get another shot hit by a pitch his last time. Yeah, I wonder if he rubbed it. Come set, now the pitch. Pitch swung out and missed the throw. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. Hindsight's always 20-20, and I know you want to avoid the double play, but this late in the ball game, I like my chances a lot better if I have the tying run at the plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Yeah, the velocity's good here, but I'm not so sure about the location. That was right down the middle. Chop foul with the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 now. The 1-2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2-2. Two two. two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Ladies nothing happening there for the Cubbies. For the They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Robert Vinson will come forward now. He's popped out and Leading struck out Robert. in his first two plate appearances. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. I think things are getting a little frosty down there now. This has been one of those back-and-forth games where tensions have run hot. This is just going to ramp it up a little higher. Mark Piazza will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. From the stretch. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And he might have still been charged up from that hit by pitch because this catches a lot of the plate. Now he's in real trouble. David Wright will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Now both runners on the move. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time as he just sneaks in there. And it's a double steal. A 
the set and the 1 0 pitch. Well, should be 2 0, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1 and 1. And that's not, that is not good. Runners at second and third here, nobody out. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. He showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two-seamer running in. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Chopped foul right at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Nail binding time now in that third base dugout. Well, things are starting to spiral here, and you've got to make sure this doesn't spin completely out of control. A couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Oh, he serves this one into center field, and it's going to do the trick as it falls out there for a base hit. And to score is the runner from third. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and a second run's going to score. Ah, and that's what those stat nerds call a high leverage at that. I don't know what that means, but whatever you want to call it, he comes through in a big way to push a two-run lead, now up to four. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. James Russell will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Addison Russell will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Addison Russell. Juan Ligares will stand in, and I've got to think these add-on runs here will really make it difficult to come back from. And that's how they've done it all game long. They haven't really had a big inning yet. Just a lot of ones and twos, but those will add up. He's set. Now the pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. The 0 and 1 delivery. Grounded to the right. Bonifacio on to Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. The pitcher, number 43, Addison. Basil Padilla will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 15, Basil Padilla. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and oh. This crowd, likely in the 40,000 range, they've got to like what they've seen so far. Oh, and it's been a complete performance. They need to find a way to bottle this up and keep it going. A ball and no strikes, here it is. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Well, two very good takes here. You can see they're trying to get him to hit something on the ground, but... He's going to make him bring something up. Hit the other way out toward right field. Sanderson has a read on it. Two down. And it's got to be frustrating to be a power hitter like he is and play 81 games in a pitcher's park like this one. I mean, guys are motivated by numbers, and you just wonder what he could be doing in a ballpark that better suits his swing. Alonzo Cochran will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Yeah, guys, not really providing the spark that they usually hope to get out of him. Maybe he can make something happen right here. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one.
That's wide, 2-0. Liner towards second, but well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Mets four, and the Cubs nothing. Jerry's Familia will be summoned from the bullpen now, as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Jerry's Familia. Addison Russell will stand in now as he'll be getting his first Second plate appearance in this one here in the Addison eighth. Russell. This is line to left and a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Now batting, shortstop. Emilio Bonifacio. Digging in now, Emilio Bonifacio. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Decent numbers, but nothing amazing from the left side of the plate so far this season. He's ready now, the pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and All right, leadoff man on first. Here's where you got to start clawing your way back into this ball game. It's not too late but it needs to start happening soon. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. From the belt, the pitch. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Right side hit hard. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Maybe a chance here to put a dent into that scoreboard after all. This gives him a couple guys on base now here in the late going. And at the very least, another hit here could be enough for them to avoid the shutout. Junior Lake will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0-1. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. First and second here with nobody out. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Now the 0-2 pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. You know, nothing gets you off the hook after back-to-back -back singles quite like a double play ball to that third guy. In now, Chris Bryant as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Fair to say, things are not going as planned in that third base dugout. Well, this is just an afternoon to forget for that man right there. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. And this would be a great escape if he could strand that runner at third after those back-to-back -back singles to start things off. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Jose Reyes digs in, coming Leading off a single in his last at-bat. Second baseman. Here's 
There's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Hit well on the ground to first. Oh, look at the stop by Rizzo. Just late. He's safe. Oh, man, that would have been awesome. Almost got him after the great stop, but it's a base hit, and the leadoff man's on to start the inning. Now a snap move over to first, and he'll get back in standing. Simple throw over there. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Definitely has his attention. Into the box now, Bryant Tyner. And a good call as they pitch out there, but Reyes isn't going yet. Here comes the 1-0. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. And you wonder if he's feeling just a little bit distracted having that base stealer over there at first base. Sometimes just the threat of a steal can really mess with your head out there. Reyes, the runner at first with nobody out. Now a snap throw to first. Runner's back. Just checking. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. The 2-0 on the way. Grounded to third. This could be two. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag to second for one, and it's wide of the bag and right by him. Uh, you got to be able to pick up your target at second base. This is dangerous for a second baseman. He's got a runner coming at him, and this throw just gets right on by him. Here's Juana Cespedes. And a double steal try here. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And he'll just hang on as both runners move into scoring position now. 1-0 count. Here it is. That's inside. 2-0. Looks like he's not going to see anything here. Yeah, I don't think so either. They gave him two shots to see if he'd go out of the zone to try to chase. And after that, I'm thinking they should just put him on. Strike called. 2-1. and one. And now he's made most of the hitters inside conscious. And, of course, that opens up the outside corner when he has to go there. All even now, two and two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Very weakly on the ground, but it gets foul. <laughs> Drilled down the line, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left, his second of the game, as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Well, this is a pitch he'd love to have back. You can see where it is catching way too much of the plate. Now he's going to have to start this inning over from scratch, but with already three runs on the board. Pat Misha will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Oh. 
Up next for the Stepping winner. in now, Robert Vincent. Vincent. Robert As a Vincent. good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? The windup and the 0 1. And he oh. misses with it, 1 and 1. Three runs already home here. Oh, Outside, 2 and 1. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone, and it's probably going to finish out of the zone. So that's a good job just to lay off. Swung oh, on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Doesn't offer at the circle change there, and it goes full three and two. Full count, here it comes. Ripped on the ground to first. Rizzo was there, and he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Up next for the Mets, catcher, Mark. Piazza. Mark Piazza digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Bases are empty, one man out. And there's ball one. Well, that's a good thing that pitch was above the strike zone because a few inches lower, and that ball's right in his wheelhouse. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's one and two now. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Wow, what an at-bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a three and two count. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. And for a catcher playing in this heat, taking all those foul uh, tips, squatting, you know he's dead tired hey, after man. being out there all day. So maybe you can forgive him just a little bit if his bat speed isn't lightning quick right now. David Wright will be the batter. He singled home a couple in his last at-bat. Now the pitch. There's that circle change of his, but it's outside for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And on 2-0, and oh, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. 3-0 and oh now. The figure he's taken now on the three ball count. Maybe even taken two. Oh. 
in tight as this pitch misses, and it's a four-pitch walk. And once he got to 2-0, I think he started peeking over at that on-deck circle because it was pretty clear that he didn't want any part of this guy. Juan Ligares will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. And the runner back in standing. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Down 0-2 after two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. The 0-2 home. Strike three, and that'll put an end to a big inning. But the Mets strike for three, all coming courtesy of this three-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Cubs. It's now 7 0. Number 13 will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the night as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Jerry Blevins will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Number 13 will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Number 13. This is mop-up time out there right now, but hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average. So you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Here's the 1-0. There's a belt-high strike to even the count at one and one. Here's a guy that understands. It's all about getting on base at this point. So good idea there just to wait for strike one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Two outs away from a victory here that you'd have to say will be a rather convincing one. You know, Matt, in every phase of the game, hitting, pitching, defense, it all favors the home side here. Top to bottom, they've been the better team. Anthony Rizzo gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Lefty versus lefty, and the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, that's a pitch you really have to learn to take against a guy like this. But even if you make contact, you're just going to get something in on the label. So that's a great take. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now a little pop-up off toward the third base side. And no one will get this one. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Tyner has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Up next for the Cubs, right fielder, James Sanderson. 
Digging in, James Sanderson. He singled his last time up. Well, and everyone knows he's slumping right now, so we'll see if that got him going. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Cochran fields it cleanly. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. All smiles in that clubhouse again. Their eighth consecutive victory. It's not often you run across a streak like that. So these guys are definitely enjoying it while they can. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. So a good offensive showing for these guys, but if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he delivered more than once with runners in scoring position. Finished with five RBIs, and that was more than enough to lead his guys to victory. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Mets come out on top 7 to nothing. So long from New York.